Over here, I have a deployed contract. The functionalities that this contract provide is you can get the count and you could increment the count. So let's say that I want to write a contract that interacts with this contract without knowing the code of this contract. But we do know the function signatures of the functions that we want to call. We know that calling the function count will give us back a uint. And we also know that calling the function increment will increment that count. So the question here is how do we write a contract that interacts with this contract without having to copy paste all of the source code of this contract? The way you do it is by using interfaces. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the interface to interact with the counter contract. And then we'll take a look at a real world example using Uniswap. To interact with our example contract, we'll first need to write an interface to the counter contract. And we do that by typing interface. I'll name this interface as I counter. And the two functions that we want to call from the counter contract is get the count and call the function increment. So back in our I counter interface, we'll first define the function count by saying function count external view and it returns a uint and then we type in a semicolon notice that unlike a contract we don't define the function body and we also put a semicolon after the function signature the other function that we will want to call from this counter contract is the increment function so again here we'll just define the function signature by saying function increment and external and then we put a semicolon so that's how you declare an interface let's now write our contract that will actually make the calls to the counter contract so inside my contract i'll first write a function to call increment on the counter contract so we'll say function i'll name it increment counter and it's going to take in the address of the counter contract this function will be external and the way you call the counter contract is by saying i counter at the counter address and then we call increment let's also get the count stored inside the counter contract so we'll say function get count and again it's going to take the address of the counter and this is a read function that returns a uint of the count so you'll say external view returns uint and we'll say return i counter at the counter address dot count and that's how you write a contract that interacts with other contract without having to copy paste the code for the contract that you're calling. And this is done by declaring an interface and defining the function signatures for the functions that you will want to call inside your contract. All right, let's see a demo in Remix. So I'm going to compile this code and then deploy my contract. I'm going to scroll down. First, I'm going to copy the address of the counter contract and then expand my contract and we'll call increment counter by passing in the address that we just copied and we can get the count by pasting in the address of the counter contract again and we get the count too. Just to double check, let's see what the count is on the counter contract itself. So inside the counter contract, I'll click count and it equals to over here too. Next, I'm gonna show you an example of how to use interfaces to interact with Uniswap. For this example, I'm gonna show you how to get the token reserve of the DAI WEF pool. In other words, we're gonna get the amount of DAI and the amount of WEF that is stored in the Uniswap. To get the token reserves, the first thing that we will need to do is get the contract address that manages these two tokens, DAI and WEF. Inside the Uniswap documentations, if I scroll down, 
I can see that this is the function that I need to call in order to get the contract addresses that manages die and wef. So I'm going to copy this function signature. And back inside Remix, we'll define an interface. So we'll say interface uni swap version 2 factory. And then we'll paste the function signature that we copied over from the Uniswap website. And calling this function will give us back the contract address that keeps track of how much die and wef that is locked in Uniswap. Once we know the contract address of the pair, we can get the token reserves by calling get reserves. So I'm going to copy the function signature here. And then inside Remix, we'll define an interface. We'll call it Uniswap V2 pair. And then paste the function signature. All right, we defined the interfaces. We're now ready to implement the get token reserves. So we'll get the address of the pair by saying address pair is equal to Uniswap version 2 factory at the factory address. And then we'll call the get pair function, passing in the address of die and with. Once we have the pair address, we can get the reserves by saying uint reserve zero and uint reserve one is equal to uniswap v2 pair at pair and then calling get reserves. And then lastly, we'll return the reserves. So by saying reserve zero, reserve one. Let's go over what this function does. It calls Uniswap v2 factory at the factory and gets the address of the contract that manages die and with. Next, we call get reserves on the pair contract, which returns the two token amounts managed under this contract and we just return the number that was returned from here all right let's see a demo in remix so i'm gonna first compile this i forgot to mention get reserve returns three parameters but we don't need a third one so here we'll say ignore the third output all right let's try compiling again so i'm gonna hit compile and then under the tab to deploy and run transactions I'm going to click on Injected Web3 and this will connect your MetaMask to Remix. And we're now connected to the mainnet network. Now I don't want to waste Ether deploying this contract. So what I'll do instead here is show you how to use interface directly to communicate with Uniswap. And we'll manually go over the steps inside here. So the first thing that we'll need to do is get the address of the pair. And we can do that by selecting Uniswap v2 factory. The address of the factory is this, so I'm going to copy it, paste it here, and then click at address. This will get the contract at this address. So I'm going to expand here, and we can get the pair by passing in the address of die and wef. And then calling get pair. So that's the address of the pair that I'm going to copy. Scrolling up, we'll click on Uniswap v2 pair and then get the contract at the address of the pair and then call get reserves. So we just manually went through the code over here. All right, so that was an example of how to use interface inside your contract. Furthermore, I showed you how to use interfaces to directly interact with smart contracts on the mainnet. And we did that by using these interfaces and, and directly pasting in the addresses. Thanks for watching and see you soon.